What's going on, YouTube? Uh, nice to see you guys again. <clears throat> you know, because I haven't been watching videos very much lately, and today, this morning, I kind of went through and saw some, and I don't know. It's good to be back. Uh, I don't know if I'm really back, though. You know, I don't want to be like, I, mean, I don't want to keep coming back like every week and saying I'm going to start making more videos or any of that. And most, well, <clears throat> hell, I haven't even done my lost view yet. Well, hell. Hmm. I just stepped on the scale a couple minutes ago. And I didn't really want to do that because it's almost like the first time I've done it in about two weeks. Mostly because I just didn't want to see the results. But I stepped on it this morning, I'm down to 220. I'm like, hell yeah! Ho ho! Mm. I don't know how that happened. Well, I know exactly how it happened, but um, the thing is, I have not been keeping a very official record of this, but as far as I can remember, I was 231 when I started, and that was about a month ago. It was about May 1st. We'll just say May 1st. So basically, I've lost 11 pounds in the last month. Ugh. I know it's not really showing that much like in my face or anything. I know I'm not seeing much of a difference, but, but it was a funny thing because when I got to work this morning, as I was walking through the aisle back to my department, it's like I could almost feel it as I was walking. I was like, hey, there's not as much weight on these old foots of mine. So there you go. That's uh, my latest update. So I guess I'm just going to keep losing weight probably. I mean, I don't know. It's, 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 it's just kind of a slow pro. And there's plenty more that I could do that I haven't been doing. I mean, I haven't cut, I haven't cut down on the Coke at all. The soda, I'm still drinking it as hardcore as I ever was. And I, I continue to maintain that I, I believe I am more addicted to soda than I am to cigarettes. I've been addicted to this stuff since I was 15 years old. If my dad bought home a six-pack, like, because I used to live alone with my dad and sister, and I remember this one day he brought home a six-pack, and I was sitting there making one of my tapes, and, like, I drank four of them in, in a single day. Like, he, had, he and my sister went out on the boat that he had at the time, and they were gone for, like, eight hours, and by the time they got home, there was only two cans of that stuff left. It's like, it, it's been bad. And when I was 19, I actually have diary entries to prove this, too. And when I was 19, I used to have specific days that I referred to as no soft drink days, which I came to shorten up to no SD days, just to make it shorter because I ended up writing it so often. Because that's how much I hated going without a soft drink for a day, and that's what I called them that, soft drinks. If they're anything but soft, I'll tell you that. So, see, I accidentally kind of had a little Freudian slip of the fist there. Yeah, not much else new, June 1st, 2008. I just walked my rent check over transferring some Final Fantasy videos from one computer to another. So as soon as that's done, I'll get back to that, but I ain't got nothing else to do right now. Oh, I gotta finish my Kingdom of Loathing crap. Does anybody play Kingdom of Loathing? Um, I started about two months ago, and that has gotta be like the coolest game I've ever played. It's kinda dark in here, I'm sorry about that. I had to turn the lights off because it would glare on the camera. This light up here, I, I, did I ever tell you about that? Wait a second. Holy crap! It works! Oh! I don't believe this! I haven't been able to get that thing to work for like the last three months now, and just now it started working again. I don't believe this! <laughs> oh man! Oh, you don't know how happy that makes me. I've been missing that light, I'm telling you. I've been using just these two lights up here. And then I got a lamp in there, but I don't have like... And my light over there by the computer, that one stopped working too. It's a touch lamp, a touch lamp, but the problem is that I ain't got nowhere to plug it in, so I can plug it in across, like a cord goes across in front of the TV, and half the time when I'm going there and doing stuff at the TV, my foot trips on the wire and pulls the lamp off the table and it goes crashing to the floor. Well, I guess I just crashed it one too many times, because now it doesn't work anymore. I basically got enough room over there to plug 12 things in, and every single, every single prong over there is, is, is taken up by something. You got one for the AC, one for the DVR, one for the VCR DVD combo, one for the DVD recorder that I got over there, one for the GameCube, one for the PlayStation, one for the TV itself, one for the telephone, one for the answering machine, one for the modem, one for the old computer, one for the new computer, one for the monitor. I mean, you don't realize how fast this stuff adds up. That's 13, because I got two of them plugged in over here. So I actually have 14 total outlets. I don't know how that works. I don't know if I can factor the answering machine in. Did I say answering machine? I gotta have one for that too. Oh, and I gotta have one for the speakers too. My speakers plug in too. So that's 15. Holy crap. And it's just, it amazes me that you need that much. You don't need any of that crap, I know. 
It's just that these days you do, you know, but you don't, but you do, but you don't, but you do, but you don't, but you do. All right, all right. I think I should have stopped that about three but you do's sooner. I don't keep opening this thing and shoving these chips in my mouth, but you know what? I don't care. You know, the funny thing is, even though I've, even though I've lost all that, I can't believe this light is working. I am just enthralled. Mm. Wise. I, I've actually treated myself a couple of times. Like one day I bought a bag of Cheetos. And I've been known to go through one of those in a single sitting. Literally. But mostly because I don't eat anything else, you know, so I'm still hungry. So, But well, that one lasted me three days. I don't have that much in here right now. I've just been living off of TV. Well, the thing is, I gave up the Hungry Man TV dinners, too. I've gone back to these. They're a lot cheaper. They fill me up. And worst case scenario, I eat two in a, two in a day. And as far as the whole job situation goes, well, you know what? It's good. Things are good. We have someone in there whose mother recently passed away. And I feel really bad for her, actually. Well, she comes in at 4 o'clock in the morning, right? Well, this morning at 4 o'clock, right on the dot at 4 o'clock, they start playing that James Blunt song. It's some new song by James Blunt, and it's obviously about somebody who's dead, because in the chorus, it's, it's, really, it's really easy to hear it. He says, I watch you breathing for the last time, or something like that. It's obviously a song about somebody who died. It's actually choked me up a couple times. You know, but that's the last song you want to play in front of a person whose mother just died. She comes in at 4 o'clock, coinkadink, that song comes on. Well, that's not no coinkadink, let me tell you. Shoot, if I was her, I'd be... I don't even know what I'd be doing. I don't know what I would do. You know, I don't know how you deal with something like that. But to have to come into work and hear a song like that first thing when you walk in the door at 4 o'clock in the morning, how depressing can you get? How depressing can life get? I mean, that's kind of suck. You know, and then, and then just after that, they start playing some Peter Cetera crap. You know, some, even a fool can see. They're just always playing that crap. Everything that Peter Cetera did after 1990 has sucked. The last good song he had was Along Comes a Woman. It's the last fast song, for that matter. Unless he, unless you think even a fool can see it's fast, I guess it is, sort of. But speaking of which, um, there's a new song by Daughtry. You know, and I guess I'm getting on music now. There's this new song by Daughtry called Feels Like Tonight, and it has like the exact same beat as Coldplay, Speed of Sound, and Clocks. You know, it's bad enough Coldplay had to release two songs with the exact same beat and cash in heavily on each one. And now, and now Chris Daughtry's doing that. It's like, I, I guarantee you that was not his decision to make the beat of that song that way. Because he's got like three slow singles, and he finally comes out with a fast one that's got to have some beat like that. It's like, can't you just leave well enough alone and let the beat be feels like tonight? You know, that sounds just fine. But no, it's got to be feels like tonight. It's like the, um, so, you know, and I don't know how to explain that to somebody who doesn't really understand music, but it's basically, it's like a 3-3-2 three, three, beat. It's like normally you have a 1-2-3-4, one, 1-2-3-4, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, but in the songs like Clocks, like Whole Player Speed of Sound, the count goes one two three one two three one two one two three one two three one two one two three one two three one two like that. And for the life of me, and I've been trying to think of this for the last two months, I can't think of any other song in the world that has that beat. Yeah, but that's all that really mattered to me here on this June first of two thousand eight. Bye.